right, so I first heard about Merge from my tech director. I took one of these home last summer in a box like this, and I played around with it. Since I started playing with it, I have fallen in love with it. I feel like they make augmented reality easy, a piece of cake, actually. I use augmented reality with my second graders all the way to high school. It's important to keep our students up to date with the latest technology tools because they are our future and this is going to be part of the future. So I encourage every teacher to try it. If you want an easy way to get into augmented reality, I recommend Merge. Finally, they're, they're actually integrating technology with education. I've been a firm believer that students learn well when technology is incorporated and they get to see the water cycle, the body system in their hands. It's right in front of them. They are more engaged. There is a lot of collaboration and they're very happy. They're excited. They're sad when the lesson is over. These students have the need in order to be able to hold concepts in their hands to fully understand what's going on. That's what Merge does. Um, it is augmented reality, and while, but while they can't feel it, you know, uh, the real thing, like they can't feel the water cycle going on in their hand, they are manipulating a cube and they are able to see it from all aspects um, to be able to understand more fully what that abstract idea is and therefore the learning connections happen in their brains to make it more concrete. I've not used any other technology or any other tool that has made those concepts real like the Merge Cube has. And uh, it has been a very beneficial addition to my toolbox, my kit of ways to being able to teach my students. One of my favorite things to recommend when I'm talking to like other future ready librarians or teachers or administrators, whoever it might be, not just at my school, but also in schools and organizations that I work with is to recommend Merge because it's a tool that everybody can have success with. And it's something that even though it might sound scary when you talk about like augmented reality, when they see it in action, I love that they understand that this is something that they can do too. And showing people, especially over the summer, I showed so many people how to use Merge and we got signed up and they started using the different apps and to be able to use that when they go back to school this fall, if it's in the library or classroom or maybe they're collaborating like with their teachers or bringing it, even as an administrator, bringing it to their teachers, we know that they can also have success in showing them how to use it. And that's something that the reason that I love using it within my school, but to see also those light bulbs go off when you're showing it to teachers or other librarians is something that's really special too. There's not a lot of tools out there that you can pick it up and within five minutes, you can think of ways that you can use it with your students. And that's one thing great about what Merge does that you can um, have a shark in your hand, you know, and it, I saw it and it was a wow moment. And there's not a lot of wow moments <laughs> anymore in life. And I got to see it and it was just like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I was a, a science teacher, a fourth grade science teacher and the human body where you can take in, you look at the organs, which is great for, especially kids that learn visually. But how do you get that for us, a Title I district? We're a whole Title I district. And so how do you get that kind of, like that that little organ that has all the organs and all the, the parts of the body was like 300 bucks, you know? So it's really expensive. But for us, we can buy a cube and have that same um, concept. Like for here in Atlanta Public Schools, we have a big focus on personalized learning. So it's a perfect tool for whether it's a lesson that I'm leading as a, as a teacher, whole group for that introductory piece. And I'm, and I'm actually facilitating a lesson and I've got students working together in pairs and going through it. Or because you can't assign it as a task, it could be a center's activity where students are working at their own pace, which supports us for personalized learning. And so some students can fly through content really quickly. And so they might be exposed to an activity once and they're good, they got it. But 
the ability for students to go back to it if they need that extra support and visualization. It doesn't have, it can be used as a whole group instruction piece, like I said, or it could be used for just, you know, kind of a, a fill in the gaps kind of thing with content. Cause sometimes you just need real quick for students to understand and visualize something like, Hey, wait, hold on. I can pull up that model. Let's take a look at it. Like it's, let's examine it. And then they have a, a, a greater um, understanding of that content or that particular topic. Whenever I walk into a room and the students have their cubes out, um, there's just a buzz in the room. It's highly engaging. Uh, the students are excited. They enjoy moving around, moving from one aspect of technology with the cubes to their iPads to Minecraft. It's everything that they can think of to make the lessons more engaging. And um, all of these ways, it prepares the students for the future. They learn how to be better problem solvers. They learn how to uh, operate in a group, work collaboratively, and everything about it makes academics more fun.